doing? This is a fun angle. I know this is a fun angle. We go, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to look at that side at the moment. That's where the camera is. Yeah, I know this is a bit of a fun angle for a minute. Uh, we still haven't sorted out the other camera uh, arm yet or anything like that to get the dual dual um, view part. But anyway, welcome to the Joy Pouring with the partners with the lovely Vanna Swipe and me, of course, you know, yours truly, Frosty. Uh, big shout out to uh, the lovely Brit who is in my ear hole from Brit Clayton Designs. I hope you just watched her premiere just before mine. This is the kind of tentative start of, I hope I'm not jumping the gun here, Brit, but um, the Saturday sandwich <laughs> with, <laughs> with uh, Brit and Cy. Uh, anyway, so, Anyway, welcome to the Joy of Pouring and uh, uh, Critic Pouring for Beginners and uh, the How To Part 2 episode. So, we covered so much in the last episode, it went so quickly, um, people said it was great, a very informative episode, so we're going to do Part 2, where we're going to do the Ribbon Pours. Now, the Ribbon Pours were inspired uh, by, uh, Britt, let me know who this is, uh, uh, Christine Jesnek. So, hi Christine, if you might be watching, but thank you very much for those uh, amazing videos on Ribbon Pours, and we are going to do one of those. Now we were going to use Christine's um, uh, recipe of flow troll, glue oil and paint but then again we thought well let's just save our glue oil because I use it to do crackle finishes. Now there we go there's a great topic for a future show how to do a fantastic crackle finish with glue oil and house paint so that's going to come soon real soon. So we're not going to use uh, Christine's uh, recipe we're going to keep it nice and simple so everyone at home that can still play along. We're just using our Australian oh sorry our Australian our US flow troll and our dollar store paints and some uh, Amsterdam paints, some PBO, uh, some Deco Art, Liquitex, and I even threw in a little piggy because we can't not throw in a piggy, can we? Can't not. We can't. Can't not. Can't not double, double negative. negative. Double yeah. negative. Right. <laughs> so I was going to leave kind of one paint uh, to mix up with you guys, but I was in such a flow last night getting everything ready. I've mixed everything up so we can just get straight on to painting, okay? So the ratios. Uh, I've mixed the paints up are two to one. Two parts flow troll, one part paint. And with the piggy, because the pigment and flow troll on its own won't work together, I had to put a little bit of the bare 8300 in it just to give the, uh, just to put some binders in there to give the uh, pigment and the micas something to bind to, make it a little bit thicker so it was like the rest of the paints. But oh, there we go. Okay, guys, so that's the little piggy we're using. So oh, let's zip of the lipper <laughs> and we'll pick the camera up. <laughs> Uh, and we were doing it like this uh, just because I've got a great camera angle right now. Excuse me while we just click it in. Da, 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 da. Uh, and oh, let's just move it back a little bit. Nice. Bingo. There we go. We've got three minutes and you've already got the camera pointing down and we're going to paint. Three minutes in. Oh yes, and of course, a big shout out to all of our OG beans, all of our regular watchers. Thank you so much. A big love heart to you <laughs> for uh, for your continued fantastic support. Touch the screen. Touch the screen. Hey, darling, touch the screen. It's a little out of focus. Yeah, it's okay. Is that better? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, Brit's saying no. It's a bit, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe you've got a smudge on your camera lens. Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on then. One second, my friends. Clean the lens. Clean the lens. <laughs> Clean the lens. <laughs> <laughs> there we the Brit is just laughing at a butt <laughs> off in my ear. Oh. So how's that now? Well, I don't know yet. I'm behind. It won't let I'm clicking I'm clicking on the screen to make it focus, but we're good, we're good now, fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. About that, guys. Yeah, sorry about that guys, you should have thought about that. Phones are greasy things. Phones are very greasy things. So uh yes. Big shout out to the lovely Fluid Art Co. Thank you so much, guys. TLP and this little piggy. Uh, big shout out to Billy, Shelley, Lani, Bree, Amy, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Jan, uh, not Jan. Um, oh gosh, there's so many people there. I'm sorry, but big shout out to the whole crew there. Thank you so much. So, 
our paints were two to one and I have mixed up our base paint here two to one as well, okay? And there's the flood flow troll in case you're wondering what it looked like. Okay, so uh, I mixed this up two to one, but actually I put a little bit too much flow troll in this. So it might be a little bit too thin. Uh, let's hope not. Using my nice big stir stick, look at this stir paddle, it's fantastic. It's a butter knife, basically, <laughs> from uh, Fluid Art Co. Uh, awesome to stir things up when you're mixing up large quantities. So just giving it another stir and let's show you the consistency. There you go. See, it's leaving a little bit of a trace. I'll show you the consistency of the, uh, of the paints, of the colors rather. But there you go. Uh, and I put in about, um, uh, should have put in eight ounces of uh, the American Flow Troll and then four ounces of the paint to be two to one. But uh, one, of the, uh, one of my measurements went a bit bloopy. <laughs> so there's a little bit much. So I put in a bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more paint. But what I also added was some of this. Now, oh, you're dying. Ooh. Behind you, the glitter on the shelf just below. Forgot to get that. Right, now this stuff is fabulous. Britt knows what this is, because Britt, the last time I used this, Britt, living, uh, living where she did, it does, near a major Amazon hub, oh, yeah, she, 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 this is the stuff she ordered during the show and it got delivered before the end, which was just... That blows my mind. Blows my mind. It's Rust-Oleum, it's glitter paint, it's the iridescent finish, okay, guys? Now, so the there you go, the bar, yeah. there you go. It's just this fantastic, super fine micro glitter suspended in uh, suspended in a nice kind of varnish and you can paint things with it walls with it and everything it's an amazing thing uh, and i put about an ounce of that into the black uh, base paint because we've added uh only you know uh, mixed this black which is opaque uh, mixed it up with so much flow troll it is going to become semi-opaque now now let me see if i can try and get the camera to pick it up but there are little tiny sparkles in this base paint. So we're gonna have some lovely sparkles. And like I said, so uh, yeah, I put about maybe nine or 10 ounces, a good four or five ounces, and then another ounce. We've got like 16 ounces in here, which is gonna be more than enough for us to do uh, our pours, our ribbon pours. These are just bits of um, uh, melamine MDF covered in melamine. Just we're gonna pour on those and have a bit of a fun time. So, okay then, darling, you don't want to use, uh, I guess we want to put down probably about maybe six to eight ounces of paint here. But let's just get this all ready for my sweetheart. Aww. Yeah, ladies first, of course, ladies first, all okay. the time, ladies first. Okay. Let's just open up these little ones. So Sean's colors are fantastic and I shall, oh, Sean. Vanna's colours. <laughs> I will let Vanna explain. Oh, it's a cute little tinfoil lid. Oh, I know, darling. There we go. A little stir. A little stir. I'm excited to try a ribbon for you. Yeah. Them. Okay, darling. So you can introduce your colours as you go or show them one by one. But mm -hmm. it's up to you, my sweetheart, because now I am... After setting you up, Switch. switching out, there's the cloth for you, my sweetheart. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. And I'll get in the live chat. Chitty chat, chitty chat. So chat. I'm going to split my colors, these three in one cup and these three in another cup. There we go. So since this is closest to me first, these three are Liquitex Opera Pink and Dollar Store Metallics. Um, it's just a white pearl white. pearl white majestic purple and majestic purple again a dollar store paint so let's get these three into my I pan. thought you wanted to use these first or those first well I'm just pouring these into a cup first because they're closest to me ah okay I no. so yeah the ribbon pour technique Sean's gonna pour her colors into this uh, little four ounce pot here cleanly cleanly well you do it cleanly or are you just gonna pour them straight in like that well the first one First one. It doesn't really matter, you can just dump it in there because oh, there's nothing okay, for it to yeah. mix with. There you go, this is very true. <laughs> uh, 
Excellent. Just making sure the camera angle is nice and straight, guys. And looking good. It's so nice having an art studio and not being in the kitchen. Oh, it's so lovely. The only thing is, though, uh, the cat is in the house, so there's going to be uh, no more little interruptions oh, from yeah, that little no cat. Mew. No, Mew. He doesn't get to do cameos anymore. No, cameos anymore. Cameo. <laughs> I like cameos. that. Cameo. Oh, this is a lot of paint, babe. Hey, Britt. Oh, wow, 24 people are watching. Wow. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. A big shout out to everybody that are watching, everybody that's in the live chat. Thank you so much. That's just a lot of paint. Oh, yeah, that is quite a lot of paint, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh. Yes, it's too much. It is a little bit too much. Yes. So I would uh, maybe only pour. Well, that's up to you. Half. But that is quite a lot of it's paint. I did mix up a little bit too much paint. Okay. We maybe only wanted an ounce of each. Mm. So the second cup, I'm going to do the green tones. And the first one, this is a new one. I haven't tried this one yet. Lumiere. Yeah. Halo Blue Gold. Halo Blue Gold. It's by Jacquard. Ah. And the second color, Dollar Store Tropical Green. Third color, Liquitex Yellow. So let's do half. We'll have some leftover paint to play around. Ooh, play around with after the show. Globbed myself. Guess that doesn't matter because it can go under the pillow. Anyways, next. Tropical green. Brilliant. So that little van swipe. Message, hi everyone, thanks for being here for us, that's from me. Guys <laughs> <laughs> on my phone. Okay, so I would only use maybe about half of that paint, just do a, yeah. you know, the I first cup. I might not cup. get any purple out. Yeah, you, well, you probably will. But let me just go through the live chat, give some shouts out. So yeah, of course, Linda's here. Le Chatterbot. Now I know how to say it probably. <laughs> the Cat and Booth. Hi there, Linda. Janice is here. Jan Bean, hi darling. Chris Jesnett. Hi, Christine Jesnett. She is here. Hi oh, there, nice. darling. So you're going to, yeah, here we go. You're going to watch us have a go and <laughs> do this for the first time. Because yep. again, we don't get much time to practice, I'm afraid. No, lots of working these days. So here we go. Let's just give that another little stir up for you, darling. And that's just. So this is a base. So not quite as thick as a pillow, but. You know, the more you put down, the more it's going to move when we tilt it. Well, I don't want to make a huge mess either. Oh, bless your heart. Well, black makes extra mess. It can do. <laughs> so, yeah, hi now. Let's just go quickly back to the mice. Hi there, Judy. Oh, my friend Judy. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Uh, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you here. Danielle Naden, hi there, darling. That's Charlie Bean, isn't it? Hi, darling, Charlie Bean. Anita, hi, Anita. Cos is here. Hi, Cos. How are you doing, darling? Thank you so much for your support and watching. Wow, thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your day and uh, watching what we're doing here and, you know, having a bit of a giggle and a laugh, yeah. trying some new things and uh, hopefully uh, learning. Learning with Frosty and with Vanna. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and of course, darling Brit, hi there, Brit. June, say so, yeah, hi, June. How you doing? Thanks for being here, darling. Daniel Boatsman, Aka Tiny Bean. You see, thank you, thank you, Tiny Bean, for having that in your name. That helps a time a ton. Oh, Judy, oh bless your heart, you just sent a sticker, Judy. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Judy. If you feel so inclined, guys, in the bottom right-hand corner of the chat, where you uh, type your little message in, uh, there's a little dollar sign. And if you click on that, it will take you to a secure page where you can choose uh, little different denominations of stickers. Where is a toothpick? There's a, there's a booger. All right, top drawer, left hand side, use the, uh, use the small palette knife. Oh gosh, this is so nice it to is open. It's so <laughs> nice, I know, isn't it lovely, hey? Uh, thank you so much, Judy, for that. Bless your heart. Right, where else were we? Okay. Let me, it won't let me scroll back through the chat so I can say, Moose is here. Hi, Moose. Oh, darling, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Laurie is here. Hi there, Laurie. Thanks for joining us. 
GE is here. Hi everyone. Happy weekend to you all. Hi GE. Thank you for joining us. Game on. Game on. Well, oh, you're going to go. Uh, oh, you're going to do that one first now, yeah? Sure. Cool, right. Okay, so we watched the Christine's videos. Let's go for it. I think you want to be a bit closer then. I don't know. It's up to you. Because she kind of starts like this and goes around, but... Oh, I don't want to tell you how to do it. There you go. You want to keep the line. I know I do. There you but go. I don't want it to be too fat either. Mm. Paula is here. Jan is here. Hi, Jan. Hi, Paula. Lily Burns is here. Hi, darling. Thank you for joining us. Come on, purple. Bless. Excellent. There's 28 people, it says, on your live chat at the moment. Oh, well, that's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Now, that's pretty fantastic. Why don't you tip some of the yellow out so you... I don't know. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah. Carry on going. Go mad. Go for it, darling. Go crazy. Because as we saw, like, we saw um, Christine's videos. Oh, that's beautiful. Now you're getting some of that green through it. Look at that, though. Yeah. Yeah, put another stripe through. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Stop, <laughs> stop telling you what to do. <laughs> There we go. All right. Marla's here. Hi there, Marla. She's just popped in the live chat. <laughs> Vanna's ribbon is going crazy, says Britt. <laughs> yeah, it is. All Super right. crazy. That's lots of ribbons. Exactly. You haven't got any purple there yet. Well, because so yeah, it's you okay. So it's you, okay. I'm not mad about there being. I know, but you could tip a bit of this out, say, into another little pot, so you start getting the purple, and just do one nice purple ribbon through it. That might be cool. There's so much paint on this canvas. Yeah, I did mix up quite a lot. So thanks, Vanna. Now I'm going to uh, only... <laughs> this is going to be messy. Is it? Well, there's just going to be a lot of paint. There is, but after you... Nice. Oh, yeah, that's got some good flow to it. Because I noticed, again, from Christine's videos, the movement of your hands uh, it's very much like uh, as we're doing our modifications when we're doing our frosty marks or modifications. <laughs> it's like a nice rhythm yeah. rhythmical movement of the hand. It's like doing uh, calligraphy. Yes, you, it is. You know, it's that kind of thing. Are you going to do more, Vanna? No, I don't want it to be too... It's, yeah. it's going to turn to mud, I think. Too I much. don't know. I don't think it's going to turn to mud. I mean, when we were watching Christine's videos, we were a bit unsure at first, but then after she started tilting it off and then you started getting the actual composition of what was left, it looked really good. Do you want me to do that for you to save your manicure? No, or? my manicure is not nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of paint on this puppy. Okay. I mix up too much paint. Oh, yes. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, let's start tipping that sucker off. I'd maybe tip more of it off. I don't know, it's up to you. Right, you're off camera. There we go, darling. Keep it there. Perfect. Kind of try to tip it over the edges of the um, yeah. little cups that are there. That's it. And then you're nicely... Should we come down a little bit, guys, so you can actually get a better close? There we go. Look at that. Lovely. And I think for once, the shot is actually in uh, straight. <laughs> well, fairly nice straight. about it being right overhead. As hey? straight as it's going to be. Yeah, being right overhead is really good. Oh, I can see actually how. There we go. Nice, yeah, you just need to get off that corner now, Vanna. And I'd let a bit more, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, darling, just directing no, your hands okay. a I can't bit. see. Being I'm looking at here. the painting. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you still in my ear, Britt, darling? Hi there, Britt. I was just making sure because you were quiet for a little while. So how's things going in the live chat? Isn't it like methodical and like pretty good? <laughs> even if I say, even if I say so myself, I'm talking about my darling wife. Fantastic. Ta-da! I actually really love that. That's great. I love the colors. The colors are great. I love the movement that you've got as well. I think that's a beautiful piece. Let us know in the live comments, guys, what you think colors about that. Colors. Okay, to the sink. There you go. And to, do you want me to start? I, I just want to rinse my hands off, yeah. Okay. 
Thank you. Waffle. Awesome. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Let's just get in nice and close. Oh, what did you forget, my dear? Ah, well, this is the thing. Um, you wanted to put a swipe, what, with cell activator? Yeah. Yeah, right, now this is the thing. Because of the, um, uh, because of the ingredients and our um, mixture here for our pouring medium, if you use a cell activator on paints that you've mixed primarily just with um, uh, Floetrol, I have uh, found the best ones that work are going to be um, uh, when you mix uh, Amsterdam paint and water together. That's gonna to be the best uh, cell activator that works on these. If you use the Australian cell activator uh, mix of Amsterdam paint that you would for a swipe or a bloom, it's, uh, the density of this paint is far thinner than that and it sinks really oh, quick and then yeah. it really goes uh, funky. That's what I've found when I've been trying to do this before. But there we go. Oh, no, no, So right, we'll hit it. Top drawer, top right. There you go, my dear. Give that a little torchy torchy, get those bubbles out. I love the colours. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. Just keep that out to the side, okay. though. I don't need that. I love this workbench. Oops. All right, so let's move this, clean up, make room for you. Yep. It's fun. Oh, Brett says uh, we should do a giveaway with this painting. It's great. Well, thank you, Brett. So oh, other people like you. it in the live chat. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted from it. I'm always happy to give them away. Have you wiped the edges, my no. darling? No, I don't think so. No, and my hands are clean now and I don't want to make them dirty again. So what's the first thing we do after we've finished tilting and we've got dirty hands? Wipe the edges before we wash them. There we go. <laughs> can I have that for a yes, second? Yes, of course you can. Brilliant. That's awesome. So guys, yeah, we should do a giveaway. Uh, let's do a giveaway right now with the lovely people that are in the live chat right now. Thank you for your support, guys. If you love this pink painting, type love in the live chat right now. And then at the end of the show, we will zip and scroll through, stop, and then the nearest person that says love, commented love in the live chat, we will give it away to you straight away, right here, right now, today. How's about that? You but can't have it until it dries though. But you can't have it until it dries, <laughs> obviously. Um, but if you live quite far away, if you could uh, maybe uh, help out with some postage, that would be fantastic. Here, Diane, you hold it up. I'll just wipe the edges of it again. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. <laughs> it almost wasn't a painting to give away just then. Britt says, thank you for wiping the, wiping the bottom. I was almost about to, what were you about to have? A conniption, Britt? Would that have been a, a conniption? <laughs> there you go, my dear. There's a space in there. <laughs> a conniption. Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can get the camera to pick it up, but there's the little bits of glitter on the, there we go. Oh yeah, it is a little bit. That's the glitter, Rust-Oleum glitter paint, the iridescent. Here you go, my darling. Thank you. Right. Mess Patrol. Mess Patrol. Da, 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 da. Right, brilliant. And I mixed up way so much. So much. So much pillow paint. Oh, pillow paint, sorry, rather. Um, so much base paint. Uh, hi there, guys. So. I guess uh, there's no questions or anything like that, right, Britt? Because if there were, I would have had hay size in my ear and questions ask, asked and things like that, right? No, don't worry, cleaning it up yet, darling. What I was okay. feeling is I'll just um, pour straight on the top of it right now. Okay. Uh, because, you know, there's not a lot of paint there. There might be, look how much paint we wasted. Maybe, I'm going to guesstimate. I love those colours. A few ounces, but these colours together, yeah, you really did I pick. Hate neons. Yes, you really did pick a fantastic colour palette, didn't you? Okay, so my colours are, we're going to be using the PBO Studio Acrylics. This one is the Iridescent Blue Black. And then we're going to be using the uh, TLP Comet, I thought would be really pretty. And these are the first three. Uh, and then it's this one, it's the Light Blue Violet by Liquitex uh, Basics Acrylics. There we go. Uh, and that's the first pot. And then the second pot, we are going to be using, now I'm not sure which way to put them round. Um, 
I figure I'm going to do it, yes, leave it the same way. This is the Studio Acrylics Iridescent uh, Green Yellow by PBO. There we go. Or however you want to say it, PBO, PBO. Uh, this is the Light Turquoise or Turquoise Green by uh, Amsterdam Standard Acrylics. That fantastic colour. Hardly ever use it, so I thought I'd bust it out. And then to finish things off, some of the Dazzling Metallics Deco Art, and this one is the Glorious Gold. Uh, and again, I mixed mine up two to one, flow troll to the paint, all apart from the piggy that I had to put a little bit of the uh, uh, untinted house paint, the Bear 8300 in, just to thicken it up a little bit and give the pigments some binders. Okie dokie, so here are my colors. Let's do the first three. Dun, 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 dun. And let me show you the consistency. They're gonna be exactly just like vanners. You see how lovely and runny they are. They leave a trace for maybe a microsecond, but that's it. Is that a good view of that one, Britt? Perfect. Okay, now as this one is the uh, Comet, I'm just gonna give it a light little stir up because the pigments can sink overnight. Ah, brilliant, fantastic. Britt just said to me, sorry, Britt, uh, re repeat that again, please, Donna. It is actually PBO, not PBO. Okay, no worries. PBO, PBO, tomato, tomato. Exactly, but, but, but say clamato. Yeah, I know, but say, you, you say tomato. Tomato, right? To, well, tomato. <laughs> Yeah, but how do you say clamato? Ah! <laughs> clamato? No, it's clamato. Anyway, sorry, I'm just. You got me with that one. I got over, yes. I, anyway, I'm just being a. As <laughs> Bruce says, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> right, okay then, guys. So, um, uh, as when we do this, it's always first in, last out. So, let's just get our little bit of canvas up first. So uh, first in, last out, I want the, um, I figure, yes. Right, so we're only gonna use half of this because Sean has so much. Sure did. There we go. That doesn't seem very much. So I'm gonna pour more in. <laughs> okay, so that, Sorry, Brett. Oh yes, of course, goo wash. Someone, someone told me that, that it was goo wash is how you say it. And of course, no, it's not, it's gouache, isn't it? So that's another goo wash moment. Okay, so this is the, um, this is the... Uh, comet. Comet, thank you very much. Vanna, my dear. And now this one is the... Uh, Pebio <laughs> Iridescent Blue Black. Excellent, there we go. You talked about Clamato and now I want a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, is it, Vanna? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, darling. I want a Caesar now. Yeah, I bet you do. Okay, so let's do the other colors now. So we're gonna, first in, last out. Uh, I wanted the gold actually to be the last out, you know? So here we go, guys. Da, 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 da. Here's some of the gold. That's a good, good dollop, maybe an ounce. That's enough, because as we know, gold takes over. Gold takes over, but you know, oh. Vanna thought, look at that gold. That's like a piece of jewelry. Isn't it? That's a beautiful color to go next to the gold. Look at that, the teal next to the gold there. Wow, beautiful. That's what, we, that's what I really like is contrast. That's what, Gives us good depth to our paintings, I like to think. All right, now the last color. This is the PBO, PBO, PBO iridescent green yellow. There we go. Excuse me for the raven that's sitting outside, squawking away. Bless his heart. Okay, so there's the other two colors, guys. Well, let us put some base paint down. Oh yeah, let's just give it another quick little stir. 
Glitter. So the glitter is all glittery and lovely. Let me see if I can get the camera to pick up the glitter. Is it, is it doing little glitter dots there? I can't really see them, but I'm just watching on my phone. Maybe if you're watching on a television, you can see them. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, trust me, trust guys, they are there. <laughs> so, let me just put some of this. There we go. That's probably way more than enough. Hi, Mr. Raven. He wants to be in the show. He does want to be in the show. So. Ah, oh, Tracy Reed, hi, Tracy. Thank you, Britt, for letting me know. Tracy Reed's just showed up in the live chat. Hi, 27 Tracy. People in the live chat right now. Twenty-seven people. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you, guys. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday. So again, welcome to the first show where we now do our shows on a Saturday. We uh, had a poll in our Facebook group, uh, the Acrylic Crazy Train. If you haven't joined us, please. Join us aboard there. That's a fan, fantastic time. You'll find all the moderators that are in the live chat right now and lots and lots of fun, amazing people in the... Uh, and it's a private group and a safe space. A safe space where beginners of this art can share their work without fear and just get help from nice, lovely, constructive, helpful, lovely people. Did I say lovely twice there? Twice, no trolling, it's a troll-free zone. It's a troll-free zone, exactly. There's nothing but just nice, pleasant, friendly people just waiting for you guys uh, to reach out and help you get the results you want. Now, this is fantastic. I can see the, uh, I can see the, um, the little sparkles from this angle. So it's gonna be great. There we go, let's just get these. Right, so I can see it's a little bit. Yeah, Mr. Raven. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> awesome, so I can see the paint. It's not quite just even, so I'm going to tip it back this way just a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. So how does that look in the shot? Is that looking good? Is it nice and straight? Am I just messing with it again? Mm. Uh, looks good, leave it, says Prick. <laughs> Fantastic. So there we go. Okay, let's go in a little bit closer for this bit. So we can see our colours and we can see... I mean, I'm just going to... I can see so many bubbles in that. Just give it a quick torch. And there we go. So I'm going to use these colours first. Now... I noticed when Christine did this, she started a lot lower. So I'm gonna start here like this, and I'm gonna go. Nice. Okay, great. Now, for composition, I feel. Oh, look at you, true artiste. I'm going to now go this way. Brilliant, making sure it's still nicely in focus. I'm gonna start here with the... Good ribboning. And I'm just gonna do a little one. Mmm, just got a really solid bit, but we'll tip that off and we'll keep the main composition here. Hmm, not too sure about that. Oh, that was great. We've just got some bubbles in it there. I did consider putting a little bit of uh, oil in some of these paints to see if they start to sell yeah. up and stuff, but uh, it's all good. It's fantastic. So let's uh, start tilting a little bit. Let's just move the camera there. Uh, there we go. Well, just so it's in the middle of the, it's in the middle nicely of the shot of the frame and looking good. Bingo. There we go. So let's start tipping this. So I don't like this whole bit here. So I'm going to tilt that off first. So 
away we go with it. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to come back. And now we're going to go over for this edge here. Da, 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 da. So, obviously, Christine makes this look. <laughs> she's obviously very, well, of course she's very, very good at this. <laughs> but she makes it look a hell of a lot easier than it actually is to get some good composition. Now, Vanna was, uh, Vanna was pouring from high up which was great because that was giving her some nice thin little ribbons. Now, I remember from watching Christine's videos that she was pouring quite low and that was giving her uh, fat ribbons, but then nice thin little ribbons too, which were great. Now, I'm just gonna bring this one back now. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, Britt, say that again. Oh, bless her, <laughs> Chris. Chris, thank you, darling. Chris says, you're doing great, she says. So, right, oh, bless her heart. That's, that makes me feel really good. Thank you for that support there, Chris, <laughs> and help. Um, Vanna and I, you know, oh, wow, wow, wow. We're very busy all the time. We have to work because, uh, you know, we've made cho lifestyle choices and Maybe things. some time to practice this technique before doing it live might not have been a terrible idea. I know, but, but. but <laughs> I'm in crazy art production mode at the moment because there's a huge, great big uh, festival uh, in a couple of weeks here in British Columbia called Shambhala Music Festival. And Sean and I curate a uh, art gallery at the largest stage there. And uh, it takes a lot of work. And uh, obviously I've got to make a lot of art if I want to sell art and uh, make some money. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm still not liking this. So I'm going to see if I can tilt off this edge a bit more. There's too much of that gray in the corner. I don't like it. Well, take your green cup and try and get another little ribbon over it. That's all right. Or you can use some of my paint. Oh, bless your heart. Lots of leftovers. Don't you? Okay, now let's move that back. Yeah. I like tipping paint. It's very zen. It is very, very zen, isn't it? Tipping the paint. I love it. So, oh my gosh, look at that on my hand. <laughs> from, from, no, we're well not dirty hand, but the beautiful swipe, the, the lines of colour that I've got there from just wiping off the bottom. Would you like me to turn the tap on for you? I would love you to turn the tap on for me. Now, I am wondering, should I do a thin little ribbon over the top of that with one of Vanna's paints? What do we think? What do you think, Britt? Yeah, you reckon him? Yes? I mean, it's pretty, but it's nowhere near as nice as Vanna's, is it? Oh, bless you. <laughs> right? So, I could use... You could use this one. There's too many groupings of solid colour. Exactly. That's, that's it, Britt. That one matches your colour palette a little better. This one kind of matches the colour palette. I could use this one, maybe. You're not going to get much contrast. Or I could put the uh, blue and the... Um, over the top of it again, the background colour. What should we do? I'm now very quiet because what do you reckon, Britt? <laughs> exactly. Green kind of part. trace this green part or try to chase, trace the green part. Exactly. Cool. Brilliant. Let's get some more contrast. Thank you, Britt. Right. Okay. So I'm going to pour up from a bit higher so it is thinner. Bingo. Can I, now? I don't know. Aww. I'm still not quite in love with it. Swipe it. <sighs> Whenever I paint things I don't like, I swipe them. And then I usually like it after. I guess we could kind of swipe it. I could try swiping. Yeah. And then maybe. 
Yeah, why not? If we're not liking what we're doing, keep playing with what you've got and, uh, until you get it's something still got you like. Minutes. Exactly, right, exactly. Oh, is it still 20 minutes to the. Yeah. We're only 40 minutes in. That's because we've got this brand new kind of streamlined show yeah. where we do a few hellos and then we get straight into making really pretty things on Banner's behalf um, or um, making things that aren't quite so pretty. Uh, I've made things on the show that I didn't love. On my behalf. Should I put. No, you see, there's just not enough of this paint left in it. So, okay, let's swipe it. So I've got some Amsterdam uh, and water, three to one. So three parts, um, three parts uh, Amsterdam paint, one part water. Okay, guys. So it is watery. It's not as thick as uh, the uh, as the Australian Floetrol or the US Floetrol versions. It's a little bit thinner because it's just paint and water, but uh, you want it to be, you know, kind of very similar in its. Consistency. consistency to the regular selectivator you're ever going to make now let me see if i can get and show you oh yeah yeah you see it really does it's liquid it's very liquid it is a bit thinner but when i've used this selectivator with paints that are with colors that i've made just with flow troll and paint it's worked really well so here we go let's get some of this on here and let's see what we're gonna do here. Oh gosh, now it's nervous. Okay, let's go with yeah, nice and clean. Multiple swipes through it. Multiple swipes through so it. Better. Take that palette knife and then maybe do one here and then do another one there. Hey, Britt, how's it going? No, I'm. I love it. So sorry, guys, just for being quiet. Britt is giving me some solid advice saying I wouldn't swipe through the whole thing. What you want to actually do is kind of swipe through these solid areas of colour. Mm. So this is what I was planning on doing anyway. Fantastic. Thank you, my dear. Uh, I'm going to swipe up and through here. Exactly. What we're going to try and do, guys, is go with the movement. So here we go. How to swipe something that you're not really liking. Now the pressure's on. So I'm gonna come down here through there and then up, okay? So here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I dislike using this little tool. So, a little bit more now. Thank you, Brit. Now I'm just gonna grab here and go out. So, oh, do you like the sound effects? Yes. There we go. Oh, we could actually blow that cell activator out and over a bit. Now you see, maybe might have been a little bit better to uh, have done the swiping before we did the tilting. But, yeah, but you know, you didn't know that you didn't like it until Yeah, we didn't know we didn't like it until we finished tilting it. So here we go, let's get a bit more. Sometimes if you mess with it enough, you make something amazing. Exactly, all right, Vanna, I love you, darling. I love these little cells we're getting up here. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I'm going to start in here and then come down and through. It's quite a lot of cell activator here, guys. So I'm just going to get rid of a little bit of it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to kind of start here on the black and then come through and then... So... There we go. We always love blowing the edges out a little bit because it can always add interest. 
and uh, a bit more dimension to what we're doing here. Bloom thing, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I snuck this bloom into there, didn't I? Didn't I? Did you saw how I did that? What a sneaky so-and-so I am. <laughs> Snuck a bloom in while no one was looking. Everyone thought we were just doing swipes. How about, you're not- Or ribbon paws. You're just softening the edges. I'm not blooming, yeah, I'm softening the edges. Oh, Vanna, I oh, love you. I can you. justify anything. Oh, can't you? You're fantastic, <laughs> you really are. Sorry for continuously moving the camera around, guys. I just want to get a nice straight shot for you. And I can see the camera is not nice and level, so therefore, there we go. You're obsessed. It's not a nice, decent camera angle. Right, so I'm gonna do a swipe here. I'm gonna grab it. Wow, how am I gonna follow this? I'm gonna actually come this way and go whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we've got a little moth in here. I know a moth. Oh, bless him. I was him. trying to cut him and put him outside. You didn't. Well, I will. Oh, no, I was just making sure you didn't, you know, squish him. I'm not going to squish him. Good. Right. Okay, guys. So, now look how that cell activator, the Amsterdam cell activator is working really beautifully. So I'm going to follow this blue line here uh, and then go and come off. Released. Released, bless your heart, Vanna. Well, he was really cooperative. He landed on my hand. Nailed it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> literally, that was stereo. Vanna went, there you go. <laughs> and literally two seconds later, <laughs> Brit in my ear goes, there you go. Look, it looks much better. Fantastic. All oh, right, I'm not, so, I'm not so upset about this at all. Let me, um, I, I'm desperate some, to blow that out of it. I needed some visual interest. Honestly, we're a bit thick with the innuendo and double entendres today, I guess. <coughs> so let's just pick this up and see if we've got much movement still. Excuse my coughing, I just got the repeat there. It is actually moving a little bit still. So we could afford to tilt it a little bit. There we go, sorry, back in the frame. Let's tilt it over this way a bit. Mm. I am still... Maybe get a toothpick in it and modify that edge. Oh, you see... Helpful like, hints from Vanna. Helpful hints and tips from Vanna. So, okay guys, we're at this point that I usually call the point of no return where we've done so many things to it. <laughs> and uh, if you're still not really digging and liking what you see, Wreck it. There's, some, there's still some options for you. So we're gonna, we're gonna modify it. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. Mm. Oh yes, come on, right now, let's bust out some tools we haven't used in a while. Oh, ha ha ha, the comb. Yes, the multi multiple modification tool. Now, what I'm thinking is, if I do something of interest down through this bit here, all these lines, if I make a nice little zip zip kind of pattern, that's gonna make a nice bit of visual interest. <laughs> Chris Jesnick says, no! <laughs> oh, is Chris saying, no, don't do that, Chris? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so hang on. Well, I'm listening, yes, I'm listening, Britt. One second, please, everyone. I get it, yeah. Aha, fantastic. Right, so Britt has just said, I would uh, use the palette knife and we're gonna try the scoop and drag and bring this bit of the cell activator here and bring it to the edge of the actual canvas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a bit worried about this. Oh, Britt. You're setting me up, darling. I'm gonna try and do it. I'm not sure if there's a lot of paint there. 
Yeah, back here. All I ended up doing was pushing it more into the actual pink painting, Brit. <laughs> I can get it. I can get it if we've got like a pillow or something, or if if we hadn't tilted it and there'd be more movement for me to be able to do that. But um, yeah, it wouldn't. You know, it, it, there wasn't enough paint to move there. Um, I am going to, like we said. Uh, Christine says absolutely not. Jez Max, bless you, uh, Christine, uh, Chris. Don't get the comb too out. Much. Too much, too okay. Much. But the I'm gonna get the skewer out and I'm just gonna add some interest to this edge here. How do we feel about that, friends? How do you feel about that then, Britt? <laughs> what do you mean go Brit says go crazy at this point yeah because I've kind of wrecked it there um, I, I really feel that I want to use this I'm sorry Chris <laughs> <laughs> but um, if we get it right in here it's going to wreck it or ruin it let's first off do this little one here to see how this one works out okay because I wanted to do this Oh, I just heard Britt go. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Britt, it it doesn't matter. It's pretty wrecked, isn't it? You know what I mean. So, sorry, Britt. Can you say that again? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do with the comb. Okay guys, let's use the comb, let's bust this out now. Now, yeah, I was going to try and just stay in this area. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna make kind of like circles and movements as we go through here. So, okay guys, right to the bottom. And we're gonna go like this. <laughs> I love Vanna's, Vanna's surprise that, oh! Um, and, you are uh, making it better. Am I making it better? Yeah. Let's just do this. There we go. It's more interesting. Uh, keep doing it. Yeah, exactly, right? Keep doing it. Right, so now I'm going to go in, around, and down. Like that. And then I'm just going to go, Ooh. And then the last one, just these bits here. See, now this is a great thing to give you some really beautiful patterns. Let me give you a close up guys here. See that there that I just did? You just put the, uh, the uh, comb down and then just do little circles and around and you get this beautiful identical pattern here because you know, literally you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little toothpicks all held there. Now, if you're wondering what this was, for anybody that doesn't know, I um, bless you, I bet you all do know, but anyway, um, it's, a, um, it's a wet hair comb for, uh, for, for people with long hair to comb out. And as you can see, what I did was just remove every other three of the prongs. Just literally got a little, yeah, bingo like that. Um, Brit is laughing. <laughs> I thought it was quite ingenious, you know, way of actually doing things, but anyway. 53. It is 1.54. <laughs> Britt's laughing in my ear because she says in the live chat, this is exactly what it needed, was more chaos, and everyone's laughing, thinking she's being sarcastic, but no, she's not. No. What, do you like this now, Britt? <laughs> I like it more than I did, yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it's different, isn't it? You know, it's like, very abstract. It's incredibly abstract, um, and it will make a great background um, for for uh, maybe one of my little uh, one of my uh, stencils or something like that. It but will, yeah. There we go. We're just cleaning off the edges again because you know you got to clean those edges. 
Awesome, awesome. So, Vanna, what did we make a painting last week? I I watched no. the show back, and we didn't even get to make a painting, or did I really nope. quickly? We didn't. Do oh, a... at the very end, you did very quickly make a painting right at the end. Yes, yeah, I yes, did, didn't I? Did. I think it was a In bloom. In like two minutes, you made a bloom. Yes. Oh, that was it. It was the negative space bloom. Yeah. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to do this. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you're liking what you're looking at there, guys, because I can just get the negative space bloom. <laughs> Let's just bring the camera out a little bit. Bingo, bingo. There we go. Make sure it's as straight as it can be. There we go. I do love the silicone pouring mat with this square on it with the lines, because that really does help me make sure, like, you know, the picture's straight and the camera angle is as straight as it can be. No one likes a wonky camera angle, do they? No. No. You've gone wonky today, though. Uh, have I? Yeah. Is it wonky now? No, no, no. Just you in general. <laughs> <laughs> I walked straight into that one, didn't I? Thank you, dearest Vanna. Thank Love you. you. <laughs> right, okay. Here we go, guys. Bingo. There is the dried results from last week, the uh, negative space bloom, because I blew a bit too hard <laughs> and uh, blew, blew the colours straight over to the, uh, to the black pillow paint. But there we go. There's the negative space bloom. Uh, let me see if it will change colours for you, because this is the... Um, uh, this is egotistical, this lovely kind of um, beautiful cherry colour. It's a chameleon pigment. So it changes colour as the light source. There you go, it goes that gold, gold colour. It's fantastic. But anyway, yes, there you go. There's the negative space bloom. And this is part of, or going to be part of, our little series of, oh dear me, <laughs> the uh, sun catchers. Mm, the double-sided The double-sided That cut. hang on a fishing line. Yes, yes. exactly. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, They've on. seen them. They've seen them, yes. Anyway, um, they're double-sided, and I am going to teach you guys. There you go. You see, I've done another one there. Uh, exactly the same paints, but in different order. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, tape up the back of these when these are nice and cured. Then I'm going to pour on the other sides, and we're going to do a show, a special show, about how to make the double-sided sun catches and how to resin both sides and how you can actually do it. So uh, there we go, my friends. I think we might. We've still got some time, don't we? Mm. Ah, no, I can't pour them. 157. We've got to do the giveaway. Ah, right, three minute alert. So this is it. Um, how many people have we got in the live chat? And 20, 27. 27, hi everybody. Thank you for still being with us there. Um, so should we just- Do you redeem yourself and do another painting? Well, maybe I'm feeling like redeeming myself and doing another painting, but I don't have, I've got some old uh, paints mixed up, but they're not, they're a bit too paint. old. Yeah, you can't really do a bloom with those. But we could do a swipe with those and what I've got left. Mm -hmm. I suppose we could just scrape this, but it all depends. Guys, do you want me to finish it an hour now or should we go on for a little bit more and do another painting? What say you in the live chat? What do you think, Britt? Hmm. Because some of the feedback we got was that the show wasn't, uh, wasn't long enough and you had to stop because of other people having other premieres and stuff. So um, I'm, I'm really not digging what I'm looking at there at all. And we've got enough base paint. Right? Thank you very much, Britt. She says, it's my show, do whatever the hell you want. So, right, okay, this is still a base, okay? So um, um, let's just do a swipe over the whole thing. Let's just put more color down over it. Should I put more base down? I don't know. Yeah, should I just throw it straight over the top of it? Mm. Yeah. Uh, should I put some base first, Britt, do you think? Or should I just... Some new base. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna scrape this straight into the bin. <laughs> Who, who's saying no? Who says don't? Oh, Chris is saying no, don't scrape it. 
Oh, Chris, I love you. Thank you so much. Bark Bean says no as well. Okay, right. Well, this is my first ribbon pour. And as we can see... You can use it as a background. It didn't go according to plan at all, which is fine because sometimes things don't go according to plan. And that's a great lesson for everyone to learn. <laughs> that, you know, you've seen me make some beautiful, beautiful art uh, and now you've seen me make some... Not so beautiful art. So everyone Beauty has... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Someone might see that and think it's awesome. Do you th I love you, Vanna. You're, 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 um, you're fantastic. <laughs> okay, so let's do another one and try and redeem myself. Okay, so we uh, have got some of that, whatever that is. That's the white I tipped out of the cup and it's got just a smidge of purple in it. Fantastic. But mostly it's all just the pearlescent white. Okay, I tell you what I'm gonna do. Bingo, let's come on, go for it, guys. See, we saw Christine do a nice pour over a circular one like this, right? Okay. So we are going to use Vanna's uh, green and yellow that's left. I still have a bunch of green and yellow here too. So you could do um, like a double round of pouring into that cup. Fantastic. Okay, cool. No, but I'm going to use the last ones of my colours again. I'm going to use... So that's the last of the Pebio. So where's Pebio from, Britt? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the company, are they uh, American or are they, does anyone? Know? Ah, just wondering, that was all, because I was, you know, people wonder in the, in the live chat. Well, I'm actually wondering, so. Give me the bottle, I'll see what it says on the bottle. Ah, they're French, so it would be Pebio. It would be Pebio. <laughs> it wouldn't be Pebio. They yeah. would say Pebio. Made in China, in China, conceptualized in France. Made in China, con conceptualized in France. Look at that, fantastic. So I'm just trying to say PBO in a French accent, so I'm, I'm thinking it would be something like PBO. Yeah, it would be <laughs> PBO. Yeah. Not PBO. PBO does not sound it sounds like PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> I think it sounds better as PBO because of the French. Yes, I can do a good French accent. I was French at one time. My name is French. I am descendant from the French. The French in France. Melody wants to know what's your pouring medium. She missed it. Melody. Mm -hmm. Hi, Melody. Thank you for your question. What is our pouring medium? Because you missed it. No worry. Our pouring medium is literally just US flow troll. The American flow troll. Or this one right here, bingo, and it's two to one. So two parts of the flow troll to one part of our paint. And you can, can add a little bit of water if you need to. We know our lovely Brit does do that um, for different um, techniques and styles just to help the paint flow a little bit more. 29 people in the chat. 29 people in the chat. This is great. It's growing, which is fantastic. Right, okay. So I didn't like the second set of colours that I put over it. So what I'm going to do is um, not, not use those ones, no. I'm gonna use, see there's hardly anything left. Do you wanna mix you some up while you're doing what you're doing? Oh look, we've got this fantastic, look at that. Yeah, yes, that's that's look at this beautiful purple, that was what Vanna tipped out. So yeah, let's uh, use that purple over the top. I got all three of these. Half Still got some of that there, All right? So I'm thinking this green and yellow first and then the blues over the top. So yeah, no, let's do the cools first and then the brights second. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna put down a nice bit of the base paint here and the base paint is also two to one. And I added a little bit of the Rust-Oleum glitter, iridescent glitter, one ounce of it to make the base paint have a nice little glitter, glittery effect. Now, we need a little bit more base paint than that. So let's just add a bit more to this side. 
and a bit more to that side. And now we need to make sure it all moves around nicely as one. So it's together. Da, 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 da. Bob Bean wants your painting that you don't like to send to Moose. Oh, bless. Linda Bob Bean, mm -hmm. uh, Le Chateau Bot. Mm -hmm. She wants to send it to Moose. Moose likes it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Moose, bless your heart, sweetie. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. And it's working, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, that's lovely. Well, I'm just gonna mush this paint out to the edge. Da, 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 da. I can hear a little feedback loop in there. Oh, here, it's okay, see. it's okay, Diana, I don't mind oh, at all. Right now. I'll um, just pause this. There, did that make it stop? No, it's okay, you don't wanna pause that because then you can't keep up with the live chat, can you? No, the live chat still goes, the video just stopped. And I don't need to have the video playing because it's happening right in front ah, of my face. You're <laughs> a very clever girl, aren't you, Vanna? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just moving this around. So there we go, nicely. It's nicely in the middle there. Great. So I can see there is a ton of air bubbles, even though we left it overnight. And I can see the little glitter bits, it's gonna be pretty. So, warmer tones first, then the cooler tones second. Yeah? Cool. Brilliant. So here we go, in a nice calligraphy style. Spell your favorite word. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. It wasn't quite a lot of paint in there, but let's just see if we can get another little thing. Yeah, you will be able to. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. There we go. <laughs> I just heard Britt go. <laughs> 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 What's going on, Britt? <laughs> 31 peeps. This what? 31. There's a situation going on. Okay, is it everything okay? Okay, brilliant. Mm. Oh, someone has a question. Let's see, where is it? Oh, Judy, message retracted. Judy says she tried four ribbon pours and she had a question and then she retracted her statement. Judy, we'll answer your questions the best we can. Bingo. Now that, that's I'm liking better. a lot better. Just needed to practice, didn't we? I hope that was in, I just touched my nose with, have I got paint all up my nose now? No, you do not. Oh gosh. You're still beautiful. I'm getting in a bit of a two and eight. But yeah, there we go. You see this lovely, there we go, where we get the beautiful mm -hmm. fade of color. That's what I was kind of trying to get um, because uh, Christine, uh, Chris's, uh, Chris's ribbon pores were just so beautiful. They had such a lovely flow to them. Mm. That looks so much better. Now, shall I put this purple through it as well? Yep. What do we think, Britt? Why not? I'm going to go and put it through there, actually. Right, so here we go. Da -da -da -da. Cool. Nailed it. Feeling like I'm nailing it, I'm not too sure. Now, like I said, we were not using uh, Chris's recipe because uh, we were saving the glue all that we have left so I can uh, teach you how to do fantastic crackle finishes with it. Uh, but um, I'm seeing the lines are going a little bit wonky. They're not holding their beautiful structure like uh, Chris's uh, have. Um, now, I am believing that's because we are missing the glue all as part of our pouring medium right or now. our paint was a little too thin. Or our paint was a little too thin, exactly. So anyway, let's start to, uh, let's start to move this around and get some flow going here. So here we go, let's move it over that edge first. And then we're gonna move it back into the middle. And then we're gonna move... Sorry, Britt. The glue helps to bind it when we're pouring it. Yep. Exactly. Chris there we go. The glue is the secret ingredient. The glue is the secret ingredient, says Kristen. Uh, Chris, uh, says Chris. Thank you, Chris. And that's why our stuff is not working so well. And this is because 
Vanna and I, unfortunately, don't have the time to practice this stuff with what we were going to do, obviously, you know, it's just... It's kind of fun to practice it live on air, though. <laughs> yeah, but kind of mucking it up and not getting a really great finish is not, you know, really... Doesn't look like ribbons anymore. What we want to do. Doesn't look like ribbons anymore. But the colors are pretty. But the colors are pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then friends, what did we learn today? Right, as Brett just said in my ear, follow the bleep recipe. Yeah. <laughs> so my friends, this has not been a waste of time at all. Hi there, guys. I'm really sorry, sorry. <laughs> Christine, I'm really, well, Chris, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So what did we learn here, guys? When we're doing things and trying new techniques and whatnot, we follow the recipes that other people have been kind enough to put out there and share with us because they've worked really hard figuring this out <laughs> and making sure and finding out that you need to put a bit of glue all to help bind it all to help you keep those beautiful ribbons and for it to not go so mucky like that. The other problem, I think, uh, or the other thing we learnt here as well, is uh, that the base I made, as I did, um, as I did admit to, I put a little bit too much floto in the base, so the base is a little bit too thin as well. We want an even consistency with everything for this to work properly. So my base was off a little bit. It's a miracle that. Vanna's has come out quite pretty, but yeah, we've lost the structure to the ribbons. It's all gone a bit wonky. Do you want me to get a blow dryer? A blow dryer? If it's nice and thin, you could Dutch pour boom plastic. Uh, no. <laughs> I think we've done enough today. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Britt. Yeah, Britt has a question. What's the question, please, Britt? People still like it. Oh, Britt said I would not push it. Yes. No, 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 no. Let's not push it. Let's leave this. I can tell you that this, I'm going to let dry anyway, because this will make a great background um, for, um, let me just show you one of the pieces that I have made for, for the uh, big festival show that's in two weeks. Uh, fans of Rick and Morty, is this the right way up, Britt? <laughs> Sorry, I'm showing a picture. Yes, it's the right way up. There we go. You see, I do pieces like this on old paws. You can see the old paw in the background there. It's very nice. But those of you that uh, like cartoons and uh, uh, know of uh, the uh, very funny cartoon Rick and Morty, these guys are Rick and Morty. And uh, uh, these are very popular at the, uh, at the show. Uh, but that's what I will do with uh, this picture, maybe. Maybe uh, spray a moon on it, put some glitter in it, uh, and uh, put a Rick and Morty on it or something like that. So failed paws aren't always failed paws. They're still useful. They're still very useful, as you can see right here. And when I get a coat of resin on this, Aww. it's fantastic because all of the spray paint that I use is, um, it's oil spray paint, and it's flat, as you can see. It has, you know, only a real kind of sheen when you get the light on it here, but it certainly doesn't reflect like the background of the paw does. So and we all know what resin or a nice coat of varnish does to your pores. It will just make this absolutely pop even more than it is right now. But then when you've got that as the backdrop against the lovely flat paint, it really brings this into the foreground, gives the piece real nice depth. And there you go. But yeah, a little bit of a wiffle waffle about what you can do with a failed pour or what you think is a failed pour. They're not all failures. They're still useful. They're still very, very useful. I make lots of, um, the sound company that owns the stage or runs the stage at the festival is called uh, PK Sound. Big shout out to you guys from Calgary, PK Sound. 
uh, I do lots of charity pieces for them with their logo on it right here. And um, all of my failed pours and things like this, things that I'm not so madly in love with, I let dry and I leave. And then I spray stencils on the top of their logo and uh, I donate them to charity. We sell them and uh, we support the Elephant Sanctuary in Thailand every year. So all of these pieces that I make with their logo, we sell at the festival. But I'm wiffle waffling now and I think we should wrap up the show because we've learnt very valuable lessons today of follow the bleeping recipe. <laughs> well, and we say that to people a lot too, don't we? We and say that all the time. And you're like, oh, I don't have flour. I'm just going to use this instead and expect it to taste the same. It's, it's not, not going to taste the same. Yeah, if you swap out the flour or if you miss the flour or if you don't mm. put the sugar in, right? It's yeah. very important. This is very much like baking. Follow the recipe mm. so i feel i guess what we're going to do next week because um in two weeks time it's the actual festival uh, so we're going to be at the festival and next week we're, you're going to be very busy and uh, next week i'm going to be very busy but if there is a chance next saturday uh next saturday after the huge color art event which is happening next weekend uh which is all part of brit is organizing it here huge color art collaboration over friday uh, sorry over saturday and sunday um uh, next weekend after the collaboration, I believe it ends at three on Saturday and two on Sunday, and that's two uh, our time PST on the on the uh, on the West Coast. So if there's time and I'm not too busy, I will do another quick little show. So there's not kind of you know such a huge gap. Two weeks without a show. Two weeks without a show because I know you guys are very lovely and you love us and you love supporting us, and we love you for that, and we don't want to let you down. So. We will see you. <laughs> Let's just... Just stick your head underneath again, that was fun. It was fun, wasn't it? I guess, there we go, hi, well, no, no, no because then you've God, got, you've got your hair straight in the painting, well, so. I was gonna say, I was gonna do it. <laughs> Here we go, let's just do this. Da, 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 da. Oh, hi, hi there, guys. So, thank you so much for joining us, absolutely. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up button, because the more thumbs up we get, the more. The more likely YouTube is to suggest our videos to new people. There we go. Thank you to everybody that joined us, all of our OG beans. Huge thank you to Britt that's been in my ear hole. Huge thank you to Chris uh, Jesnek there for enduring our video oh. and our massacre. Oh, and we haven't done... We've got to give away. Oh, oops, oops. We have got to give... You've got to give away my give, thing. Give away your painting. Okay, so Vanna, get your phone, my dear. Da, yeah. da, da, da. I'm going to come over here with Vanna. Da, 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 da. And we will see, there's Vanna, oh, is scrolling oh, through. Scrolling. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Back to the chat. All messages. All messages. There is. She's yeah, going to scroll through. Scroll, 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 scroll. Stop. Well, it won't let me go back that far. Okay, well, stop <laughs> somewhere okay. and find someone that says love and we'll give the painting away. <laughs> I can't go back to the loves. What? Mm -mm. I can only go back to, yeah, no, we have to get people to comment again. Those that are still remaining. Oh, is there no loves? Ah, right, that was so far back in the show. Sure, yeah. for, for some reason, Sean can't scroll that far back in the chat, which is really strange. And after a live, it takes YouTube at least a day or so to get the live chat available because they want to check it all that there was no abuse or threatening behavior in it or anything like that so the chat will be a lot uh, will be available in about a day or two after the video is wait a day or two until we can see the chat and then we'll pick one of the we'll ones. pick one out and we will Sorry. announce the winners next week okay my lovely friends all right then so mwah. Thank you for joining us. Please take care. Have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next Saturday afternoon if I've got time. Okay, guys. Ciao. Happy pouring. Happy pouring. <laughs>